Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Recently, I flew on a business class flight using Delta Sky Miles. Now, anyone who knows a thing or two about Delta Miles is probably thinking to themselves, well, what did you spend? Did you spend 300,000, 400,000 Delta Sky Miles for that business class flight? Nope. In fact, I only spent 15,000 Delta Sky Miles for this business class flight, plus about 20-ish dollars in taxes and fees. Delta is one of the most, if not the most popular airline in the United States. Last year, their credit cards had 1% of the GDP get spent through them, which is a ridiculously high number. Delta has their Delta Sky Clubs. They also have their business class, which is rated pretty high. But when you end up having Delta Sky Miles, you may have noticed that when you go to redeem them, usually Delta is requiring a ton of miles for that redemption. Now, sometimes Delta does have its flash sales where it isn't asking for a ton of miles for a specific flight. But in many instances, when you are looking to redeem your Delta Sky Miles, they're usually asking for quite a few miles, especially if you end up looking for an international, say, business class flight with Delta. Typically, you end up seeing this along the lines of being like three to 400,000 miles each way, which I think for most people is way too expensive. And also, when you look at Delta credit cards, although they are quite popular, when it comes to their earned potential, they're just not very good earner cards. Now, with many programs, what they'll do if they happen to have point currencies that either are getting devalued or can't give you any type of outsized value, They'll try to keep you around by letting you get yourself either more points from flying with that airline, staying at that hotel, or using one of their credit cards. A good example of this would be the Hilton Honors Program, where although Hilton points aren't the strongest, with Hilton credit cards, you can rack up a lot of Hilton points. Also, with staying at Hilton hotels, you can get yourself many Hilton points from that. Having Hilton status can earn you a ton of Hilton points. Even if you happen to have American Express membership or war points, there's a higher transfer bonus from grabbing your membership or war points and transferring over to Hilton as compared to other programs. These are all things to make you want to stay with the Hilton Arnold's program, and it helps offset the fact that the points aren't the strongest when it comes to their value for redemption. But with Delta, they haven't done any of these things. Delta cards are on par when it comes to earning potential with the United credit cards or the American Airlines credit cards, but Delta Sky Miles aren't as valuable as either one of these other programs. In fact, I would argue that unless you're trying to get yourself Delta status, it would make more sense to get yourself one of the American Express travel cards and use those cards to rack up membership or war points that have the ability to transfer over to the Delta program. Now, I wouldn't typically recommend to do this, but with the American Express green card, gold card, and platinum card, you're going to be on the same earning rate or better with these cards as compared to if you happen to have one of the Delta credit cards. Even if you want to fly with Delta, you can earn more Delta Sky Miles from having the American Express Platinum card, or you get yourself 5x in points that you could transfer over to your Delta Sky Miles program. This is why, again, unless you are seeking to get yourself Delta status, it's not going to make a ton of sense to be using Delta credit cards. So what does this mean? Are Delta Sky Miles useless? Well, no. Delta Sky Miles have their sweet spots, it's just going to be best to redeem them outside of the U.S. You see, Delta is a part of the Sky Team Airline Alliance, which means that you can redeem your Delta Sky Miles with one of the different partner programs. And if you happen to be redeeming it with one of those programs outside of the US, you can get yourself way more value for your Delta Sky Miles as compared to what you would get redeeming your Delta Sky Miles on a Delta flight. So normally with Delta Sky Miles, you're typically going to be getting yourself a redemption value of about 1.3 cents per mile. Now, Delta does have dynamic pricing, which means that the cost of the ticket is going to determine the amount of miles that's going to be required. So if the ticket price ends up going up, the amount of miles is going to go up. And if the ticket price goes down, the amount of miles is going to follow with it. And if you happen to have one of Delta's credit cards, you get yourself an additional 15% off an award booking, which will add the value of your Delta Sky Miles for each redemption. Now, with your Delta Sky Miles, if you happen to be redeeming on a partner airline, if you happen to have one of Delta's credit cards, you're not going to get yourself an additional 15% savings on these different award bookings, but chances are you're probably going to get yourself more value for your points as compared to redeeming directly with Delta. In fact, you can actually find yourself business class flights using Delta Sky Miles without it costing hundreds of thousands of Delta Sky Miles. The business class flight that I flew redeeming my Delta Sky Miles was with Korean Air. I flew from Tokyo, Japan over to Seoul, Korea. This is a two and a half hour flight. And I will say that I was pretty impressed for the type of flight that I ended up getting. With Korean Air, the business class, you're going to get yourself a lay flat seat. The armrest ends up being also a charger for your phone. So if you just place your phone down on there, it's going to begin charging. There's going to be full meal service. They give you glasses of champagne. I thought that the service was fantastic and I was definitely impressed 
for this short flight. The whole experience felt like they were preparing us for a long international 10 hour flight, even though it was only a short international flight. The flight time is like the same distance of flying from Los Angeles over to Seattle, but you're never gonna get anywhere near the type of service or comfort within the US for a flight that's under three hours, like I did flying on Korean Air. Something unexpected that happened was when I was in Haneda Airport getting ready to fly from Tokyo over to Seoul, Korea, I was trying to find an airport lounge to relax in. I went over to the Japan Airlines lounge and I was trying to ask them where a specific lounge was. And they told me that I actually had access to the Japan Airlines lounge, which confused me because they're not partners, but I guess that they have a partnership when it comes to lounge access over in Tokyo to be able to access it if you happen to have a business class ticket with Korean Air. So I took full advantage of that, went into the Japan Airlines lounge. The Japan Airlines lounge is pretty nice and way better than any lounge I was expecting to be able to access before flying over to Korea. The food is fantastic. There's a machine that pours you a perfect beer every single time. I mean, who doesn't want to take advantage of that? Flying over to Seoul, Korea, I flew from Haneda Airport over to Incheon Airport. And then when I came back, I flew from Incheon Airport, but I went over to Narita in Japan because that ended up having the best times for when I wanted to return back over to Tokyo. But this round trip business class flight from Tokyo, Japan over to Seoul, Korea cost me 15,000 Delta Sky Miles each way. So in total, it was 30,000 Delta Sky Miles and a little bit over $40 in taxes and fees. The ticket price for these exact flights that I chose in total would have came up to being $1,358. After subtracting the taxes and fees, I got myself a value of about 4.5 cents per Delta Sky Miles. This is three times more valuable than what I said earlier for redeeming your Delta Sky Miles. If I could redeem my Delta Sky Miles like this within the US, I would do it every single time because there's gonna be no way within the US I'm gonna have this type of experience for only 15,000 Delta Sky Miles. There are a number of other business class awards that you can end up redeeming with your Delta Sky Miles that can still end up being under 100,000 Delta Sky Miles. Say you happen to wanna fly from Amsterdam over to Dubai, you can do this by redeeming your Delta Sky Miles to fly on KLM and do it for only 42,500 Delta Sky Miles. This ticket can actually end up being pretty expensive, so you can get yourself good value for your points there. Also, if you want to fly from, say, Taipei, Taiwan over to Singapore, you can do this in business class on China Air for only 40,000 Delta Sky Miles. Now this award isn't gonna be the best cents per point value, but still you're getting yourself a business class flight that's gonna be somewhere along the lines of like four and a half hours, for only 40,000 Delta Sky Miles. There are other ways to redeem your Delta Sky Miles that are on the higher end and aren't the greatest deal out there, but they are better than redeem your Delta Sky Miles with Delta. So if you happen to want to fly over to Europe, again, you don't want to use your Delta Sky Miles within North America. So if you can get down to Mexico City, there is a way to be able to redeem your Delta Sky Miles to get yourself a business class flight over to Europe. It is on the higher end, but I still think it can end up being worth it if you happen to have a lot of Delta Sky Miles. Recently, Delta has made a number of different rule changes and also revamps to their cards and updates to their program that haven't left a ton of people happy. If you happen to have a lot of Delta Sky Miles, the two ways to redeem your Delta Sky Miles are either gonna be for domestic economy flights, getting yourself an average of about 1.3 cents per point in value, or if you happen to have the Delta credit cards, you can get yourself an additional 15% back in an award booking. And then the second option is going to be to redeem your Delta Sky Miles on an international flight outside of the US. So if you happen to be traveling within different countries outside of the US, then use your Delta Sky Miles there for business class flights because then you can get yourself way more value for your points. Now, I know not everyone can travel this way, not everyone likes to travel this way, but I just want you to know that your Delta Sky Miles are a lot more powerful than you may have realized. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts about Delta Sky Miles and what type of sweet spots do you know about them that maybe I don't know about them? Now, if you haven't have any questions about Delta Sky Miles, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll do the best I can to answer it. If you haven't have realized this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and have a beautiful rest.